G'day Frothers. Uh, ever wonder how the old uh, STS chuck works on your rotary hammer? Well, let's take a look. So I'm in the process of uh, attempting to restore this old drill that I bought on eBay and I figured uh, while I've got it all open, I'll show you how the chuck works. Okay, so um, to start with, we've got a tool holder. It's basically a hollow tube and uh, it's got some uh, keys on the inside. Just try and, can you see those? Got some keys on the inside. Uh, which is where the keyways on the drill bit go. So they uh, slot in slot in there. Uh, and that's what uh, transfers the torque or the, you know, the rotation to the drill bit. Uh, and then this little slot here, that is uh, countersunk because it holds a little ball bearing in there. And that corresponds to the um, kind of countersunk slot on there on the drill bit. So it works by, we've got a little spring. We've got this shaped washer. Uh, and it has a flat edge that goes onto the, uh, the flat edge of the tool holder part there. The ball bearing fits inside that. And that basically presses the ball bearing up towards uh, the end of where the drill bit is. The drill bit's going to be reciprocating in there, in and out, and uh, the little ball bearing is basically what holds it in, stops it from going flying. So one, one more component is needed to uh, stop the ball bearing from falling out. That's this big beefy washer here. That's basically what that does. So there you go. With that in place, as long as it doesn't fall off, should stop the uh, drill bit from falling out pretty well. So there you go. That's basically it. Uh, then the whole mechanism is held on with a little circlip as well. That just holds it all together. Or oh, can I get that on with my fingers? Yep. There you go. And that's your chuck. So I've got a spring pushing the ball bearing up, allowing that to uh, drill bit to reciprocate like that as it's hammering. Uh, this formed washer keeps the ball bearing in its place. Uh, this fat washer holds the ball bearing in against the drill bit and then this circlip holds the whole thing together and stops the washer and stuff from shooting off the end. And there you go. This, uh, this big bit of plastic here, that sits underneath the circlip. So that sits on the top of that washer there. And that provides you with that motion. And then this little guy just clips on the top. There you go. That little ball bearing. Aren't they amazing? Little ball bearing doing all that work. Beautiful. Real simple, real handy. Love it. There you go. Scratches later.